Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at using sections in PowerPoint 2010. Now sections is a new feature to PowerPoint 2010, making it easier for you to manage and organize the slides of your presentation. This, is, this feature is especially useful when you are working on a large presentation and as part of a team. It will aid your collaboration within that team and allow you to name sections of a presentation however you wish, making it easier for people to identify you know, the area of the presentation that they will be working on or they will be delivering. You can also then expand and collapse these sections and also jump to them at any given point of a slideshow. So let's, let's jump in and let's have a look at this section tool. So I've got a presentation in front of me at the moment and I would like to create some sections within it. First thing I'll do is click on the slide that will become the first slide of the section that I'm adding. So I'm going to click on slide 4 and then go to the home tab, the section button and add a section. That will then add an untitled section with slide 4 being the first slide of that section. And slides 1 to 3 are in the default section. Now I can now rename these because they're names aren't that useful to me. I can click on the default section, go to the section button and rename the section. I'd like to call that introduction. I could then click on the untitled section and I could go back up and rename that. Uh, I may call it Bob's section. Once I have these two sections, you can also use the little arrow in the corner to either collapse the section. So Bob's section is hidden, it doesn't concern me, I need to work on these intro slides, and I want to try and reduce the clutter, avoid any confusion that may arise. Of course, use a little arrow to expand it again, you know, and I could potentially collapse the introduction area. I see there's three slides, but you know, it makes it easier for you to manage these slides. So I can only see or concentrate on what I want to focus on. As mentioned, you can also use these sections to jump to the mid-slideshow. So if I was to start up a new slideshow, F5 would be my best bet. So I'm going to use the ribbon so we can see what I'm doing. And in mid-slideshow, I could hover my mouse down the bottom, looking for the slideshow toolbar, use the navigation button, and go to section. I could just jump to Bob's section. As well as the traditional go to slide option, there is now a go to section button if you've used sections. There's another useful tool. This sections feature is a very simple but very useful feature, especially when working with large presentations and if working as part of a team. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful and please check out some of our other tutorials at computergaga.com.